We've got Barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I am doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? I uh, don't know. I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, you asked that question and my mind went blank. So I just said, I don't know, because I don't know. All right. <laughs> well... This is Collegiate Chaos here. We will be talking <laughs> about last weekend's games here, Jared, and we had a couple yeah. of upsets here. We had, had a couple we had of upsets. Collegiate Chaos, Mr. Chaos himself, Mr. Team Chaos, uh, is, is feasting this week once again. One very notable upset, a few close calls, uh, and another pretty big upset. Um, Let's let's get into it now. Wait, actually, before we get into it, before we get into it, we teased something at the end of last show. Um, we we by the way, I just want to also want to say all right, two things. Two things. One, we're recording this on Monday, and we're releasing it on Tuesday. So, in case you happen to be watching this on Wednesday, excuse me, no, we're recording this on Monday. We're releasing Scarlet and Great on Tuesday. We're releasing this episode on Wednesday. We're releasing this after the college football playoff committee does their first rankings. Yep. But we are currently living in a world. Kyle and I right now, as we're recording this, are living in a world before the rankings came out. So I just want to I want to clarify that. We have no idea what the first college football rankings look like uh, ahead of our rankings on this show, even though we're releasing it afterwards. I just want to make sure we're going to look either great or we're going to look like assholes. No, 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 no. If 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 they disagree with us, they're wrong. Uh, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's let's jump into it, Jared. Well, actually, Kyle, the other the other thing. We teased something in regards right. to Iowa. We we just learned, and that's when I remembered that we're recording on Monday. Because we in our once again in our timeline, we just now learned that Baby Ference uh, will will not be retaining his job at Iowa. And we teased at the end of that show how many points will it would it have taken for Brian nope. Ference to have because so, it was in his contract. You you you, you explain did. it. You go ahead. Yeah, so he needed twenty, averaging twenty five points per game. Okay, so he needs to average twenty five points points per game. So far this season, scored one hundred and fifty six points. One hundred fifty six through eight games, nineteen and a half points. Um, okay, not not where it's needing to be. So if he's wanting to get to that, tw it doesn't matter anymore because they already <laughs> doesn't matter anymore. But but if he were to try to get to that 25 points per game, Jared said, oh, no, no, they, 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 it's impossible. No, you can, he's not going to be able to. No, they play Northwestern, Rutgers, Illinois, and Nebraska at the all winnable games. Mm -hmm. If he averages 36 points per game, right. he, would, he would get right at 25 points per game. He needs, he needs to get to the magic 300, 300 points and he's okay. 156 so he pretty much needs to double that in four games 36 points per game against mm -hmm. legitimate components i mean these are big 10 teams and none of them are great teams but none of them are you know sent north or northern central texas not none, none none of them are you know I was about to say Bowling Green, but Bowling Green's a decent team this year. None of them are Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> none, none, none of them are the Jackrabbits. So um, my, my point being, Kyle, that averaging 36 points per game, especially in modern college football, by which I mean this year with new clock rules, would be very difficult. Mm -hmm. Especially since now, they're currently it, averaging 19 points a game. Yeah. Is it impossible? No. Do I think they're going to get it? No, no, no. no. God, no. I, I think it's impossible. 
he was he was he was he was averaging it averaging more 20 more than 25 points per game after their victory over western Mich- michigan but that big old fat zero there against penn state is a it's a death now <laughs> yeah well and especially these especially the the loss last week where they only put up 10 points to your jared golden gophers Kyle, do you have this in a spreadsheet? Or I'm just curious if you could have done some a really quick additional math if I asked a question, or if I that's try. just. I I'm just curious. Go for it. I'm curious sure, what sure. it would be. Just Big Ten opponents. What What's the average score against just Big Ten opponents? Take Utah State, Western Michigan, and. Iowa State out of it. Of course, they didn't they didn't reach the 25 point mark against either Utah State or Iowa State either. Uh, but but I feel like even that that 19 points is being carried a lot by the 41 they put up against Western Michigan. So through the five Big Ten games, the Broncos, right? Point, Western Michigan, 14, the Broncos. Yes, 14.2 in conference. 14.2 in conference. Yikes. All right. Yikes. We spent way too much time, time talking too about time. Purdue. Uh, <laughs> Let's... No, we spent way too much time talking about Iowa. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, talking about Penn State here, about Penn State just demolishing Iowa here. Uh, beats. Beats Indiana 33 to 24 here. What was your what's your take about this? This game here. I, the, the, the game was closer than the nine points it ends up looking like. Um Indiana took Penn State down to the wire on this one. Um one of the things that got Penn State out of this hole, however, was that they finally let Drew Aller throw the damn ball. Like they 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 let him actually throw the ball deep a few times this game, which is not something they really let him do all season. And by the way, once they let him try, he wasn't bad at it. Let 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 the boy play some football, maybe. But yeah, Penn State, Penn State had had an Ohio State, uh, had a bit of an Ohio State lull after this game or for this game after Ohio State. So, um. Not a good showing for Penn State. Um, much closer than the nine points would indicate. All right. Uh, looking here, what's another one here? Oh, our first victim, Jared. The first victim from Team Chaos. The Jayhawks. Yeah. Upsetting the Sooners 38 to 33. Yeah. Um, Oklahoma, not good in this game. I, I mean, it's obvious they lost to Kansas, who I mean, Kansas is now six and two. Did did the AP rank Kansas, Kyle? Will we rank? Will we move Kansas up into the B tier after this game, Kyle? Um, but only two losses on the year for Kansas. This is a very big win for them. This is not a bad football team. Um, no, but I was, I was definitely surprised to see, see the outcome of this though. Like it's, yeah, it was definitely very. I'm Kansas find jumps. Work. Kansas jumps out to an early lead in this game, fourteen nothing. Oklahoma starts to make a comeback. Then there's a lightning storm, so they they go to halftime early. They come back. Oklahoma makes a big comeback. Then it just turned into a classic Big 12 game. Uh, Teams just start scoring points. Oklahoma just straight up let Kansas score it at the end of the game, towards the end of the game, giving Oklahoma a chance to, you know, make one final march down the field. Um, And, you know, Oklahoma had an opportunity. It was kind of a Hail Mary, but it wasn't also wasn't like a deep Hail Mary. Right. It was a. It was was a pretty 
close. It was just a deep shot to it the was. end zone more than it was a Hail Mary. Um, but yeah, uh, Kyle, we're we're running. Oh, I love the win probability when it spikes like that. <laughs> how how Kansas? It... How, how what was the lowest point for Kansas there? Oh, I could not get the mouse okay, that's to fine. go there, but it, that's got to be right there at ninety nine percent. That's that's touching that hundred there. Yeah, um, it's uh, Kyle, we're 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 running. This was one of our S tier teams. This was one of our last undefeated teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll talk more about that here shortly. But yeah, we're we're running, and this was the last undefeated Big Twelve team. Um, mm-hmm. Now, I don't think that we're going to have four undefeated teams in the playoff. I'm going to say that I, I, you know, we still have five undefeated power five opponents anyway um, left. Um, It's starting to get down to the wire, though. Only five undefeated teams left and one of them could get sanctioned. Although the NCAA never moves that quickly. (laughs) No, Michigan, don't. by the way, uh, visiting Team Chaos this weekend uh, during their bye week. <laughs> Michigan had such a bad week. They they got a visit from Team Chaos during the bye week. When you catch an L during the bye week, you know you had a good week. Oh, Michigan. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll spend seven minutes at the top talking about Iowa for some reason. But when it comes time to talk about Michigan, we just don't have time because it's just too much. It is just too much. All right. Uh, Maryland with a disappointer against Northwestern. I'm I'm shocked yeah. Northwestern's four and four at this point. I, I would ne- never in four and four heading into November. Never would have thought it. No, never I thought they'd would have, have like thought it. one game, one, one game. I, I, I mean, I think we actually did a prediction at the beginning of the year, and I think we said one or two games. Yeah. So expectations well above, well above what we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's who Maryland was always fake. Good. No, I, I think Maryland is dependent upon. An air raid style offense, and they don't have a lot on defense and whether it be, you know, Oregon during the Chip Kelly years or. USC right now. Um, when you are dependent upon a timing based. I mean, look, I mean, kind of kind of like Ohio State, the three years previous. If you're completely dependent upon a timing based passing attack. And you don't have a defense and you don't have a running game. You can put up these amazing stats sometimes, but then just fall flat on your face some other time. Uh, that That's yep. what happens with these teams. And that's what happened with Maryland this week. Yep. All right. Um, looking at some other Kyle, other the, the, here. the lone winner from the research triangle uh, from the Twin Cities of North Carolina, uh, an area you know something about. Twin it's Raleigh. City. Raleigh Durham. Okay. Never heard They're, it called that, but well, that's that's what proceed. they it's what they call that's what they call Minneapolis St. Paul. I, I, twi- well, I'm yes. just saying, but but you're all because it's Raleigh and it's Durham. Like it's I that's why I said of North Carolina. I didn't say the Twin Cities, I said the Twin Cities of North Carolina. Almost a complete failure by the Raleigh Durham area this weekend. Except mm-hmm. NC State. Taking out Clemson, dropping Clemson to four and four. For those of you keeping track at home, that's the same record as Northwestern. NC State, a team that I was pretty sure was terrible and I still don't think is like good. Don't get me wrong. No. Up to five and three. Up to five and three for the Wolfpack. Yeah, definitely. Definitely really surprised in that. Uh Especially, they had a lot of they lost a lot of talent on that defense. They lost their quarterback in the in the transfer portal. There, yeah, very surprised that the Wolfpack here is is five and three here. 
Texas beats BYU. Uh, another. We, we didn't even say it. It was. It was. It was. It was against Clemson. More. more no, I, I Clemson, did. Uh, a little bit I, later. Well, no, I, I, I did. I did say it was against Clemson. It's just Kyle. It's. It's not that I didn't say it was not against Clemson. It's just that Clemson is so bad at this point that it's not even noteworthy when they lose anymore. Which is just the best. Clemson's just irrelevant now, which is just the best. Isn't it? Clubnik is garbage. I, I would like to see. Listen, there. We have to be careful because now in the age of the transfer portal, we've seen guys like Penix, like Bo Nix, go somewhere else and find a ton of success. And I wonder if Club Nick's one of those guys. I wonder what would happen if Club Nick transfers to Washington, what he looks like next year or Oregon, what he'd look like next year. That's all I'm saying. He's a really highly recruited guy. And for Don't what it's worth, Uli, Uyunglele is, ha- is having or, you know, not, not doing bad in Oregon State right now. Um, so eh, be careful who you blame there. Kyle, did you another... have on your did you have your on your bingo card, Jared? That okay, maybe you have Florida State number one in the ACC, but number two, Louisville, number three, Virginia Tech, and fourth, the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech. No, no, I did <laughs> not. Uh, speaking of Louisville, and speaking of the Raleigh Durham area, uh, Duke catches us out you know it's not that it's a surprise l um louisville's a good football team louisville's now seven and one louisville Wait a- i'm not sure where the ap ranked them but they were i'm sure they're they have to be in the top 15 now um they got to be getting somewhat close to the top 10 where did the ap rank them this week kyle uh let's look let's look at the rankings I, this is how this I, is I, it's literally monday night thing neither kyle and i've even looked at the ap this is um, what a what a time yeah, in college 15th. football. They're 15th. Yeah, uh but yeah, the the surprising bit here is that Duke got shut out by Louisville. Uh 23 nothing. Uh Duke going down in spectacular fashion. And it should be noted. I I don't think they had their quarterback in this game. Um I assume they they did. They did. Yeah. I didn't watch Leonard, this game. Leonard was in it. Yeah. He <laughs> definitely not that good. He was nine for 23, 121 yards. So he sh- so he played, but he probably shouldn't have is what you're saying. I get I didn't, Louis- I didn't that, watch that this game. Louisville's all defense closely. just Louisville's defense. It's just nah played just that well. Nah, nah, that's a shutout. Uh, can't be. Uh, Oregon took Utah to the woodshed. They did. This one surprised me. I thought this was going to be a lot closer. But yeah, Oregon, Oregon taking out their frustration. Yeah. It's really weird since since the Washington, Oregon game, which. For anyone not paying attention, Washington won that game. Um, But Washington's looked kind of bad ever since. And Oregon looks like they're out for revenge ever since. Yeah. And we'll, I, and at this point, it's becoming very obvious that we're going to see them play again in Las Vegas, San Francisco. Where are they playing the final Pac-12 championship game this year? It was in San Francisco for a lot of years. But then I think, did they move it last year? I forget. I don't know. Well, here's Actually, the is thing. it played it's, on campus? It... I think they played on campus, maybe. I, I forget. doesn't matter. Point is, is that I think we're going to see Oregon and Washington play again. If it were to end right now. Yeah. Based on uh, conference, yeah, record, yeah, it is Washington and USC, right? I, it's Washington, but that's just be, that's just because USC has one more yeah. victory in conference. But do, do me a favor. Either way, they do play each favor. other. They play each other. They play each other in, up, here in a few weeks, though. Just do me a favor. Look up USC's schedule and let the folks know what USC has coming up in November. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, this weekend they play uh, home to Washington. Uh huh. And then they go on the road to Oregon. Uh huh. And they play home to now ranked UCLA. Yeah. Well, UCLA has been ranked for uh, a few weeks now. Oh, yeah. But so of their last six games, five of them have been ranked. Yeah. Uh, Going it's... back to Notre Dame, Notre Dame and Utah. And then California was in a one point victory because Cal decided to go. Cal decided to go for two to try yeah. to beat <laughs> USC. That, that was almost three losses in a row there for USC. A game, by the way, really won by USC's running back and not. I'm just going to just going to toss that out there. Um, Georgia uh, destroys Florida. Um, Georgia's looked good in two games this year, and it's against the two teams they've played with an actual pulse. Um, Kentucky was barely ranked. Florida could have been potentially ranked um they're you know they're yeah. they're a top 40 team um yeah it was not close what was it going into the fourth quarter it was it was, it was never competitive 30, 36 to 7 it was this was never competitive no, um georgia destroyed florida it was never ever competitive um what are, what are so it's just games? it's just interesting that we've seen georgia look uh, Georgia's this is only the second game this year that Georgia's covered. And I don't know, maybe they're just showing up against good teams. I, I we still have yet to see them place to play an actual good team though. Well, and they're playing they're playing three I'm not games giving up on Florida. Yeah, I said that in the first quarter. <laughs> well, Georgia that, uh, That's not something I schedules. said during Georgia, the first Georgia's quarter. schedule. Georgia's schedule next three games. Missouri, who's ranked 14th. That's surprising. Ole Miss, who's ranked 11th. And then Tennessee, who is ranked 19th for the next three weeks. Yeah, so they'll they'll get a chance to get their signature win. Um, and by the way, then they will play presumably Alabama, maybe LSU, um, the week after. So um a a tough a tough a tough road for for georgia coming up um well here, you know here's here's i think here's it would be the... great if ohio state could have waited till november to actually play a team but you know georgia gets to do God, georgia's how, thing. how how chaotic would this by the way be, not Jared. the week how... after because they don't they play georgia they play georgia tech is in the last game right georgia does yeah how chaotic would this be jared LSU beat Alabama this weekend. Okay. And then then you have then you have LSU beats Alabama. Alabama beats Ole Miss. Ole Miss beats LSU. You just got a big old you got a big I mean, that, old that's, that's just what that's just that that's just a Tuesday in the ACC. That's just how they have always done things <laughs> in the ACC. Um and the Big 10 West for that matter. Um Yeah, true, but that, that's all right. Yeah, we, that's. Uh, yeah. Miami uh, barely beats Virginia. Kyle, who the hell is Virginia? Virginia lost their first six games, or excuse me, their first five games of the year. Then they played in FCS school. Then they knocked off uh, North Carolina, handing North Carolina their first loss. Spoiler alert, not their last loss. Um, and then they took Miami down to the wire. the hell if it was worth investigating i'd investigate it but uh it's it's not um so, washington I, I just want to not looking oh sorry you go ahead i was gonna say i was just gonna look at the the other top 25 teams here so florida state took care of business against wake forest uh, texas took care of business against uh well, i guess i shouldn't say take care of business they eh. It was still, yeah, I, I guess so. It was it was twenty one to six going into. It wasn't the, the dominant performance, but it was also never really in doubt either. Yeah, 
kind of like Ohio State, um, Wisconsin. Although Wisconsin, yeah. considerably better team than BYU. Another chaos here. Hey, warned you guys a few weeks ago, like three weeks ago. The Wildcats, Wildcats get get a um, get a team chaos here, taking down Oregon State, twenty seven to twenty four. Yeah, uh, this is Oregon State's Warned second loss on the second loss on the year. Um, it's, this is the second second top twenty five victory for Arizona in back to back weeks. Yeah, uh, wasn't the other team fairly highly ranked too? Nineteenth. Um, yeah, nineteenth yeah, is Washington State. Arizona has more quality wins than Georgia right now. And Michigan combined. Um, they lost They lost by seven to Washington. They lost by two to USC. Dominated Washington State uh, the previous weekend. And then they beat Oregon State by three. Very competitive these last four weeks here. Yeah, they, they brought in and a freshman. They, and they go they brought in a freshman quarterback. UC- That's what mm-hmm. changed. Um, and then they played UC- and they played ranked UCLA this week. Jeez, five weeks, five weeks in a row for Arizona. Arizona single handedly ending the pack two. Washington State <laughs> and Oregon State were all like puff chested. Look at us. You know, how dare you leave us behind? And Arizona just ended them. Uh, what was here? Oh, so Ole Miss took care of business of Vanderbilt, Notre Dame destroyed Pitt. And I mean, destroyed Pittsburgh. Yeah. Another another team chaos moment here. Uh, Jared was alluding to this earlier. Georgia Tech beating North Carolina 46 to 42 on a 22 point, 22 points scored in the fourth quarter for Georgia Tech. Yeah, that North Carolina's second loss in, in recent weeks. Um, that's. That was fun while it lasted. The whole the whole Duke North Carolina thing was fun while it lasted. Um, yeah. at, at least Kansas is still hanging around. Like we still got one of those basketball schools hanging around. Michigan still hanging around. Some of those basketball schools still hanging around. Yep, we mentioned USC beating Cal by one fifty to forty nine. UCLA takes care of business over Colorado. Ranked Tulane beats Rice by two. James Madison stays undefeated. And the Falcons. Falcons of Air Force. Stays undefeated. Kansas is a football school now. Yes, they are. And those are all the top 25 teams there, Jared. All right. Let's move on to our rankings. All right. I got some movements I want to do, Jared. Okay, let's let's start with the S tier. Oklahoma. I got some movements. Out. We're, we're Oklahoma, gonna... with their first loss. Yeah, A. They they stay in A. They oh yeah, hundred percent to B. Hundred percent. Um, wasn't like like it wasn't like they got destroyed. They they lost to a uh, they lost to a team that. Are um, they now ranked? That only has that only has two losses, so it's it's not it's did not the AP a terrible Kansas? loss. Did the AP rank Kansas? They did. They're twenty second now. Uh, I think they're better than that, but okay. Um, spoiler: I want to move Kansas up into B tier, but we're not there yet. Mm-hmm. Ohio State, we have at number one. Do you want to keep yep. Ohio State at number one? Yep. Florida State at number two. Would you like to keep Florida State at number two? I, I think you had them. At, did you have them at three last week? But then Austin and I moved them up to two. I th- I think so. Yeah, I think I have Florida State at three this week. Yeah, I have I have Florida State at two. Yeah. Consistency, consistency is the thing with Florida State. They have a really good, really good resume. Um, looking here with, well, <laughs> actually, both of their ranked hey, teams are are Kyle, not we, are not ranked anymore. We're already at like a half hour. And I think I we just agree that Florida State's number two. Um, Washington has looked a bit sketchy, but they're still undefeated. They still have a uh, incredible resume win 
over Oregon. Um, the only way I'm willing to move Washington out is if you're willing to replace them with Michigan. Are you willing to replace no. them with Michigan? No. Okay. So with that being said, the, the, I mean, I mean, I mean, this was Michigan's best weekend. So no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that being said, move Georgia up yep. into S tier. I agree. That is that is what I got. Ohio State, Florida State, Washington, and Georgia. And does Georgia does Georgia stay at four? Could we make the mm -hmm. argument that they should surpass Washington? Or are you happy with Georgia? At what's four? what's what's their victor? What's their what's their best win here? They have two decent Kentucky. wins against Kentucky and Florida. Neither of those wins are nearly as good as Washington beating Oregon. Um, Washington. What's who's Washington's second best win? Would you say? You just take a quick look at Washington's schedule. Who do you? Who would you say is Washington's second best win? I, mean, I just so, want. To, I want to compare two wins against two wins. Georgia's best two wins: Kentucky and Florida. Washington's best two wins are Oregon and. Uh, let's see here. Not Michigan State, not no. Cal. It's either no. Arizona or Arizona State. Not I, and that was Arizona. Was that before Arizona brought their freshmen in? Was or after? You know, uh, that was what week was that? Uh, no, that was that was when that, no, that was when uh, Noah came in. So it was that game. Um. So, OK. Yeah, but, that's the freshman. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so. You could make the argument that George's. Has a better two wins. But uh, I, I don't I don't want to get that granular with it. Three versus four, I think. Yep. Um, uh, so a tier. So a tier, I think all of those stay stayed a tier. I think you I think you move Louisville up to a tier now. I totally agree with you. One hundred percent. All right. Anyone else you want to move to A tier? Um, the only other one, the only other one you could possibly, but I don't really like their res, really don't like their resume. Even though Tulane is ranked and they did beat Tulane, is Ole Miss. That's the only other one you could potentially put in A tier. Their one loss is to Bama, which is a good loss. Who would you say are their best two wins? Tulane and LSU. It's not a bad pair of wins. I I say we I say we move them into A tier. And I say that because Austin and I, well, if I can reset B tier real quick, Kyle. We kind of had B tier set up into three separate tiers here. Kind of had the the group of five guys sort of hanging around here we, okay. we had an upper b tier and a lower b tier um i think it's very worth noting that the two other teams in our upper b tier lost this weekend kind of separates Ole miss from the rest of b tier which makes me want to move them up okay. into a. I'm, I'm i'm fine with that I'm so with that with being that. said utah and oregon state are they are they donezo are we moving them to c tier so this this is Utah's second second loss. Also Oregon State's second loss, is it not? Also Oregon State's second loss. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of tempted to put put them into C tier. Man, B B tier is going to be so empty. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. We we might split up. We might we might end up moving Ole Miss back down. We might split so, it up. We'll, we'll see right, how so it goes. Notre, so we already Notre have. We also yep. have Louisville up in A tier. Yep. Notre Dame. Notre Dame stays at B tier. Yeah. UNC is down to C tier. That all four all four of those teams um, 
won. Air Force, uh, James Madison, Liberty, and Tulane all won. Okay. UNC deserves M tier now. Mm -mm. (sighs) That Virginia loss was embarrassing. But what was the expectation for UNC, though? I think they were a team that we thought could have gone to the ACC championship game. Mm. I I feel like that was on their plate. I I agree with you, though. I agree with you. Just keep them at C. Okay, don't now, know hold on. I don't. I think there's a couple. I think Kansas belongs in B tier now. All right, that's fair. Does Tennessee go back to B tier? Make the case. Tennessee is... We moved them down to C tier the last previous week because they lost to Alabama and then this week they beat a halfway decent Kentucky team here that's that's my case <laughs> <laughs> would you say that's their best win on the year Kentucky yeah yeah they yeah, lost so, to Florida so they have that in common and then Georgia. they lost to Alabama Yeah, they also just lost to Florida, who Georgia woodshedded. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't know who else you put up here. I'm, I'm looking at all the other two lost teams here. Yeah, uh, you want to put Kansas State up there? I think Tennessee is more deserving to be in B than Kansas State, so I'd say no to Kansas State. Okay, I'm just going to trust you on that. Does Oregon State stay in B tier? Yep, they have that lost. They have that loss to Arizona, but they have wins over UCLA, who's ranked, mm-hmm. and then wins over Utah, who's ranked. Does Oregon State stay in B tier? No. Maybe. I don't know. Utah. Utah just got run off the field by Oregon. Utah has not had an offense the entire year. Odin said that earlier. Utah should be in C tier. Offense has been bad all season. No camera. They're 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 just not the same without camerizing. Um. So, okay, I'm, what I'm about say UC? No. What about UCLA then? Would you put UCLA up in B tier? I think so. Um. They have, their best victory is against Washington State. Their two okay. losses were against Utah, which mm-hmm. they lost 14 to 7. Yeah. And then they lost to Oregon State uh, 36 to 24. Their best best victories mentioned Washington State. And yeah, definitely this weekend against Colorado. Yeah. Colorado is their second best win. Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh they they also have wins over Coastal Carolina, San Diego State, NC Central, and Stanford. Yeah, you, when you said Colorado was their second best win, you you unsold me on it. So, so uh, I, like, like I said, I think B tier is very lacking this week here. Okay, um, LSU, which is fine. It's it's fine. We, we put LSU in M tier after they dropped two games in September. They've looked good since. They play Alabama this weekend. So if you want to say, no, they lost two games in September. They had high expectations. F them. They can leave M tier if they beat Alabama. I'll I'll agree with you. But if you want to say, no, they've looked good since. I say we move them into B tier. Jared. Yeah. Who who do they play this weekend? Alabama. No, excuse me. Who did LSU play last weekend? Last weekend? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jared, LSU and M is crazy. I'm sorry, but it's just us. I don't know what, but it's just us means. I think it's, you get it just is. Oh, it just is. Um, you they got put into M tier because they were a team with SEC championship or at least SEC West 
buzz, and then they went two and two in September. That's how they got stuck into M tier. Two. It's and, just uh, three, three and two, but uh, okay, three and two in September. I mean, you could say That's, two and two that because is, two, two and two in F in FBS. Okay, two and two in FBS <laughs> in September. That's how they got the when you have incredibly high expectations and you fail to reach them. That is how you end up in M tier. That's now, what they I, did. Now, they're playing. They play Alabama this weekend and they have a chance to get back out. They're still in the running opinion, for the SEC. They're playing Alabama this week and they have a chance to get yeah. out. My opinion, they played the Black Knights this last weekend. That doesn't do anything for me. Sure. Now. They beat Alabama. Okay, yeah, they 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 skyrocket up to to B tier then. Yeah, I I agree. But not winning the West does not equal M tier. It is when that's the expectation, and you drop two games in September. And I'm what, sorry. What, that's, what's one of our, what's one of our sayings, Jared? You you only have one Mario man. You only got one Mario man, and they spent both of they they spent. Their extra Mario Man and the li- then the life they had in the month of September. That's how you get into M tier. We do not put teams into M tier lightly. We do not take teams back out of M tier light- lightly. But Jared, can 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 we create a new can we create a new tier here? No. Can we create an M minus and put no. Clemson in, in M minus? <laughs> I mean, I can I can move Clemson to the right side of the board. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there. We can call that just I'm not I I'm not editing the document live, but we can we can call that M minus if it makes you feel better. Uh speaking of M. Trojans. Thoughts? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Kyle says not yet. Again, we don't put teams into M tier lightly. All right. So I, I think I think this is it. I oh Missouri. Do you want to put Missouri in Missouri? B-tier? I knew I was forgetting someone. Yes. Let's put Missouri. Missouri's ranked B-tier. 14th, has one loss here. I I Who? definitely think they should be in B tier. So their best victories is against ranked Kansas State and then ranked Kentucky. Yeah. I'll count that. I will count that. I, I think that's a good call. Um, Kyle, do we have any M tier candidates for this week? Anyone deserve to be an M tier? Yeah. I don't think so. I th- I think this is I think this is good here. Got a, got a jam packed weekend. Uh, yeah, this next weekend here is a lot a lot of great games. I have, I have a feeling we may we may see some more uh, team chaos this weekend. I mean, we'll definitely. I mean, we'll have some top twenty five teams lose at, at at the very least. Um, How many do we have there? It's one, two. Is that it? Only two rank on rank three. Three rank on rank uh, four. I keep I keep adding more. There are four rank on rank opponents or rank games this this weekend. Count them out. What are they? Kansas State, Texas. Okay. Missouri, Georgia. Okay. Uh, scrolling down, Washington, USC. Okay. And LSU and Alabama. Yeah. Uh, got two, two, two of those games are SEC on SEC. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, man. Um, Texas is interesting. How are they supposed to be? How how long is Ewers supposed to be out? Are they supposed to get Ewers back for that game? They didn't have Ewers against BYU. I'm not sure how long he's supposed to be out. Does anyone in the chat know? Because they they could pick up a second loss if they don't have Ewers back for that game. uh, Thanks, Trey. Great. He has a grade two AC joint sprain in his throwing shoulder. And that happened two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I don't 
I don't I don't think he's going to be back. Well, it'll be two it'll be two weeks from when the next game starts. Um, I don't know. Our our resident almost doctor uh, gangland is not in the chat, so I, I, I can't ask him. But um, yeah. All right, Kyle, um, I think this is our board. I still feel like I feel better since you reminded me about Missouri, um, but I don't think we're missing anybody. Chad, are we are we are we missing anybody? Trey says he's done. What does that mean? Do you, uh, yours. Yeah, but like what does it wasn't the he's it wasn't the he part I was confused about. It was the it was the done part is is do we have actual reporting on his timetable because the last time i saw which was before saturday's game they said like no timetable for return oh you just think he's finished okay i mean i don't know i i i think i would like to think that if texas got like into the big 12 championship game that he'd play if he's able if he's able like i I know a lot of Ohio State fans have a lot of feelings about Quinn Ewers and, you know, feel how you're going to feel. But I, I I don't think he's the type of guy who would just pack it up and go to the NFL just because. Yeah. All right, Jared, I, I think we need to end it there. So, <laughs> yeah, I still feel like I'm forgetting someone and it's bugging me. But no, um, I, I went through I went through all top 25 all t- top 25 teams here. Um, okay. I mean, we maybe addressed all of them. On. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think, the, I think the only ones that's in the top 25 would be Oregon state, which we talked about Utah. Who's in the 25 Tennessee, UCLA and uh, Kansas state. Yeah. Who I kind of have all those teams you mentioned, plus a few other ones. Um, kind of off to their off to the side in C tier a bit. Um, so we'll keep an eye okay. on them. But nope, that's it. That is wouldn't it, blame yeah. him to get healthy and prep for the draft. I would. If your team has something to play for. Especially as a quarterback. Where you're supposed to be a leader. If your team and I'd be what if if Texas were to lose this weekend and then lose again and they have three losses and they're out of the hunt in the big 12 and he says, you know what? I'm going to focus on the draft. Then I wouldn't blame him. But if they're still like, if they still just have one loss and he's ready to go, then, and I found out as an NFL scout that the, that he packed it in and left his team behind. Uh, uh, I, uh, that would not sit well with me. All right. Um, that's it, Kyle. That's the end of the show. Um, do you have anything? Uh, I don't feel like doing plugs. I'm tired. Do you have anything in Kyle's corner? <laughs> uh, not, not really. I I think this is a long. Long episode, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and end it here. Unless you want to talk about Harbaugh. All right, Kyle. Um, what percentage chance do you give? I just want the number because we're we're running long, so I just want a number from you. Percentage chance that Jim Harbaugh is the head coach of Michigan on the sidelines next year, September, whatever. Kyle's Kyle's going to think about this. He's going to leave some air in the podcast, which he knows upsets me. So I'm going to talk for a second (laughs) to make sure there isn't empty air in the podcast. Yeah, we. I'm going to say 5%. I think it's. I think it's zero. 
I, 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 in the Discord, I wrote three separate. Oh, Connor, out- they put they first said okay. <laughs> I put three separate outcomes. I put an outcome that I think was lenient. I put an outcome that so I I'm, think it, like leniently, before- but real lenient, but realistic. I put an outcome that I felt like was um strict, before- but but realistic and then i did like a realistic one that i there's like my best guess one and in all three scenarios harbaugh's not the coach at at michigan anymore before before today jared um according to tuesday the 30th here before today (laughs) there's new news every day yeah before today i would have said it was a lot higher i would have said like by the way three percent chance i was going to say like 33 percent chance yeah before t- before Tuesday, October thirtieth. It's it's Monday, October thirtieth. That was a long week and weekend, Jared. Uh, I, we normally we don't normally record on a Monday. I I, I feel you. It's fine. I'm Monday, yeah. After news and things seem on Monday, thirty three percent down to five percent. I uh, I I'll mean yeah, that. it's and I think Kyle's talking about the news that they. Um, well, m- multiple things. The, pulled, well, they well Michigan pulled. They had apparently there was on the table a contract extension that Michigan took off the table. Um, and then and then uh, and then listening to Harbaugh during his uh, his presser today too. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. Um we'll see. I I I I mean I wrote I wrote those three scenarios. And I, for what it's worth, I think my best guess right now, this is my best guess on how this plays out. One, and we joked on I think it was on the Monday episode. I've already forgotten, or the Scarlet and Great episode. I've already forgotten. But but I joked that. I don't think that, you know, I, I made the joke that, oh, well, will Michigan even get into the playoffs because they're facing sanctions? Prediction number one, the NCAA just straight up doesn't move that fast. Uh, maybe the committee decides to punish or downgrade Michigan, but I don't think the NCAA will. They just they have never moved that fast. They have never, ever moved that fast. Prediction number two, Harbaugh won't be the head coach at Michigan next year. Prediction number three, he'll get like a five year show cause penalty from the NCAA. So if Michigan, if he and Michigan haven't already parted ways by that point, I also think Michigan prediction number three, Michigan will straight up preemptively at the end of the season. They will just straight up preemptively start punishing themselves. After this season is over, they'll start self-imposing penalties. Included in that is them firing Harbaugh or moving away from Harbaugh. Or maybe maybe it's not a quote unquote firing. Maybe it's a mutual parting of I don't know. But they'll self-impose a penalty that includes Harbaugh not being the coach anymore. Then I think he'll still get a show cause penalty. Sparty has a better odds of like we did in Urban, 2011 getting Urban 12. to be the head coach. Yeah. Then then Jimmy Harbs staying at Michigan. No, I actually disagree with that. I know I said 0%, but I think the fact Urban Meyer being the head coach at Michigan State is like negative 0%, which <laughs> is literally the same thing and isn't possible and I regret saying that. Um like we did in 11 and 12. I think what we did in 11 and 12 okay there's not a good precedent for what the NCAA is going to do against Michigan. There's just not a good precedent. We have not seen this before, but what I think you, you can draw is essentially that Harbaugh mess with the integrity of the game, which is just something you can't do. Oh, I meant the self-imposed. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I think the self-imposing. Yeah. And I, I know what you meant. Um, but but I think it's also a it's a decent comparison, actually, because you have a head coach 
knowingly and decidedly cheating. I, I it's one of the reasons why I do kind of point to Tatgate as every, a, as a cop. every coach every coach knew what was going on except for apparently Jimmy Harbs. Yeah, right. Kind of like every uh, assistant at Penn State knew, but apparently Joe Pod didn't. Um. If people talk about Michigan death penalty. You will never see another death penalty ever again. I, I SMU never SMU wasn't good before they were cheating, but SMU literally never recovered from the death penalty. Um, I don't think we'll ever see a death penalty again. Um, but like there'll be a lack of institutional control. Um, I think a one, two or three year postseason ban is possible. Although I wouldn't say it's definitely going to happen. Um, I, I think there I think there'll be a multi-year probation. Um, I don't know. I, I have a lot of thoughts. I've been thinking a lot about what's going to happen to Michigan. And I think I, I've heard rumors and I don't I straight up just don't know if it's true. So. This is a rumor. This is a rumor. This is a rumor. I don't know that this is true. About Gary. about Michigan having practice footage. Yeah. Yeah. Which is if Michigan has access I I specifically heard Ohio State. Again, mm -hmm. these are rumors. These are rumors. These are rumors. These are rumors. If Michigan had practice footage that they obtained illegally that's that's worse than the signal stealing in my opinion and the signal stealing is already pretty bad um i that's think good news Jared. i think michigan's gonna get hammered i think michigan's going to get again i if i were to make a prediction i think there's gonna be a two-year postseason ban um Harbaugh's going to get fired. There's, he's going to get hit with like a five year show cause penalty. Um, no, there won't be a death penalty. That's just, and by the way, all, all of this, Michigan's essentially already under probation for the recruiting cheating that they were doing in 2020. Mm -hmm. That has to also be taken into account here. It, it does. Yeah. Cause they're, they're already on, they're already on a short leash and Yeah. I mean, they weren't the fit. I want to. They weren't the fit. I need to say this. They weren't like actually on probation because the investigation wasn't completed. No probation was actually like the investigation there. As far as I know, is still ongoing. Uh, I don't think that's been officially wrapped. Brings back the death load. No, there will not be a death penalty. No, there there won't be. There will not be a death. The the absolute worst case for Michigan, I think, would be like a three year bowl ban i think that's worst case for michigan which so by gonna, the way gonna, is still a lot yeah we're gonna end this episode on yeah. a positive note jared yeah and 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 the end the show on a positive note even though the, as we are posting this on wednesday it already happened but is the return of tuesday mac football <laughs> tuesday and wednesday mac football mac -tion. Get some action in, yeah. Every day, well, every day there's there's football, but five of those seven days are college. <laughs> yes. All right, that's a positive note. Tonight's ending music uh, will be "Heart Attack Man." Kyle came in clutch with a surprise. Kyle's corner. Uh, <laughs> tonight's ending music, uh, band called Heart Attack Man. The name of this song is called. Uh, nine on your bedside. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Heart Attack Man. <laughs>